200 subscribers, yay! <laughs> Thank you very much guys for being part of this channel. I really appreciate that for watching my videos and being active on my channel. Thank you very much. Uh, 200 subscribers may not seem like much, but to me it actually means a lot. So uh, I really appreciate it. Actually, it's 205 because I am a little late, precisely <laughs> one month ago I hit 200 subscribers. So a little late on this video. Uh, so the main topic of this video and the question that I've been asked a lot is what is my type? So my Sosonic type is ESI, Ethical Sensory Introvert. I am from a third quadra. And my psychosophic type is ELWP, which is Emotion, Logic, Will, Physics. So in this video, considering the special occasion, I decided to share with you guys uh, some of the most prominent sides of my Sosonic type. But before we get into that, I have important announcement. So I just created a Facebook group the reason I created it is so we all would have a better opportunity to interact with each other. So I will be posting uh, some of the new stuff that I'll be doing. I'll be making polls with the people I'm gonna make videos about and you will be able to chance to vote and influence uh, who, whom I'm gonna make video about first. I will be giving you some updates or insights and uh, stuff that I was maybe my observations and you can share yours as well so you uh, because it's a group format so we can freely engage and you can share your stories and I really would like to <laughs> meet you all like at least online at this point and uh, yeah that would be great guys please join uh, link in, in the description so and now let's go to my sosonic type. So there are eight functions that each type has. And you can see it right now on your screen. This is my type. Uh, for those of you who is not that much familiar with sosonic theory, don't worry. I mean, overall on this channel, my goal is uh, for people who know nothing about sosonics to be able to learn and actually understand. That's why I'll be always explaining stuff, even though some of you guys will already know it from previous videos. So each function on this picture is represented by a square. And in a square you see the symbols. These are sosonic aspects. And there are eight of them, and there are eight functions within our uh, sosonic type. So uh, eight aspects are the information about the world, like different types of information. And functions are basically how this information gets treated by our brain. So I will go function by function and try to bring uh, some of the most significant things uh, I can remember about myself. Okay, so the first function within my type is introverted ethics. This is called a leading function and it is the strongest is four-dimensional. So the first most prominent thing is I can feel connection with other people. And very frequently I can feel what they feel and I can feel how they think. This certainly is very helpful with uh, sosonic typing and <laughs> psychosophic typing. This happens when I have some sort of connection with them. And I not necessarily have to see them or hear them and they can be any distance uh, away from me. Uh, so another thing, I do not tolerate injustice. Like I could get really mad if there is some injustice going on. And of course, if uh, somebody is being unjust to me, I can have a fierce response as well. <laughs> One more thing is introverted ethics uh, being rational aspect. I think it's responsible for me being perfectionist. I have very high standards both for myself and for all people who surround me. And sometimes it could be a little hard on people who are 
close to me and my friends but uh, I still I'm trying to be tolerant as well but the positive side that I like to help people to become better okay let's move on to the next function it's extroverted sensing and uh, it's three-dimensional it's also prominent and very strong within my type I have somewhat of a passion to watch and learn lots and lots about uh, the dangerous situations that people can get into some life-threatening situations and uh, or situations where they lose their life uh, this includes things like car crashes uh, plane crashes uh, and uh, like I watch plane crash investigations and uh, things like uh, police chases and things like something dangerous people do like what happens and I really like to analyze the situation and uh, to come up with a conclusion like what caused it and I don't know I just being attracted to stuff like that another thing that I will stand on my principles so if I believe something is wrong it's uh, really really hard to make me go from there like it, it I must find another reasoning because like uh, if the principle is important enough I will stand to the uh, almost to the death maybe uh, it depends for what, what kind of cause if it's not that important you don't want to give away life well okay <laughs> I, I'm not gonna go too deep into that but I hope you got the idea so next function is introverted logic and it's two-dimensional I like things to be structured uh, for example if I'm organizing my space I like uh, everything to be in specific place and there must be a reason for it uh, it's not just there because I put it there well but most of the time I just don't have uh, <laughs> enough strengths to <laughs> really do that but that's another question and I like understanding inner connections between things as well so the next one is uh, exerted intuition and it's my vulnerable function well first of all I find myself a really hard time to uh, greet people with their birthdays or some special events I mean when you have to say some meaningful words and uh, like or, or write them and I usually find myself staring for like 15 minutes in a blank screen <laughs> when I need to write some greeting <laughs> this is why I really don't like to do them also I really don't like when you have too many options to choose from like for example you, you need to buy something and there is like uh, 50 different options or I don't know dozens or hundreds <laughs> or more sometimes that's why I'm it's one of the reasons why I'm not very big fan of shopping <laughs> and things like that it's it takes me really long time to figure out what I like more and I just yeah <laughs> I don't like that stuff okay next extroverted logic the same as uh, vulnerable function is one dimensional but uh, I like to know things I like to learn about things I like to see how things work I like uh, entrepreneurship a lot I like like uh, business related stuff I like all sorts of machines and equipment I, I like to learn about it especially some uh, grand and scale like uh, huge planes or like uh, trains or yeah like uh, how the uh, manufacturing process like works and I like like stuff that are robotic and that are smart and things like that also I like things uh, to be very simple and uh, uh, I, w I like to find easy answers I don't like to too much to search and figure out answers I like answers to give to me if I <laughs> I want to just simple answers this is why uh, my dual 
helps me out so much and I'm very happy to be married to a dual to Anna. So next, introverted intuition. Well, I hate being rushed and I hate not to be able to do things because I ran out of time. Also, I consider myself spiritual, but I'm not religious. Instead, I have my own beliefs. Throughout my life, uh, I try as much as possible to do what I feel through introverted intuition I should or shouldn't do. And it helps me a lot, even though in many cases it seems very unlogical to follow. So next is extroverted ethics, which is in my case is three-dimensional. So a lot of uh, this relates really to my past and because this is one of the functions that you can uh, develop a lot. Before I was very unemotional and very reserved with my emotions. Also, I'm very sensitive to negative emotions, especially if they're directed towards me and especially if they are, uh, in my opinion, are unfair. And in this case, I can be uh, very offended even if a person doesn't say a word. I just feel their emotions and uh, I get offended just from that. So, but I try to work on <laughs> control and how I handle that as well. And last but not least, also four-dimensional strong introverted sensing. I really appreciate beautiful things and I think it's uh, not hard for me to distinguish uh, something that is really beautiful from something that is not. Uh, I think I have quite good taste in terms of food, but I don't like to do all this stuff myself. Also, I pay huge attention to quality, to the tiniest details. Like when I'm watching videos, I always make sure that it's in HD and that in the best quality possible. Or I also like like high quality in, in a lot of things like music and uh, movies. I wouldn't, even though maybe I would really want to watch some movie, but if I have it in not very good quality, then I probably wouldn't watch it until I can get access for better quality. So things like that. Also one funny thing that probably my wife would add <laughs> that I like uh, things to be clean in terms of uh, like from bacteria especially and from like this kind of stuff. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure that she would want to say that I'm making her to clean her hands too much and don't touch things with the dirty hands. Like I can be very, very insistent about that and she is frequently getting annoyed. Okay, guys, this by no means is a comprehensive look at my sosonic type. I was just trying to bring some examples from my life from the top of my head and uh, so to have a little fun. Please let me know in the comments uh, which things you maybe found surprising and which things maybe you found uh, as relatable. And if you would like to have a chance to interact more with me and other people like you who are also interested in sosonics and psychosophy and also if you would like to expand your knowledge and learn more on this topic, uh, don't miss out. Uh, please join the Facebook group that I created. Link is down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next videos.